Good morning. So, today we are going to be writing the lyrics for the second verse and bridge, as well as writing the chords for the bridge. After that, we will record everything, all vocals, so we can be done with that. And then we'll move on to starting to write my guitar uh, chords, picking patterns, melodies, and the like. So with that, let's get started. I don't know where I'm going I don't know if you're coming to But something I'm sure of Is that I won't let go of you It's a long time we've been together And it hurts like hell to part but as I leave, I must remember That something must end to start That something must end to start Alright, so now that I've got my lyrics all set, I think I'm going to write um, the chords to the bridge because I've already written the melody. What I'm thinking is maybe doing like a E minor to A minor, E minor to A minor, and then switching back to the chords I've been using, which would be G, C, F, and then G sus4. All right, so we're here at the vocal booth again, and I'm about to record basically from the second verse to the end. Um, so let's give it a shot. I hope it will get easier as the miles and time fly by. And as I walk out these doors, I'm smiling because I find it's too hard to cry. So, now that we've finished all the vocals, we're going to move on to the guitar tracking. So, this is going to take a lot of takes, so I may or may not show you the entire process, but I'm going to be recording my acoustic guitar with the condenser microphone, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, we'll get started here. Um, I'll just record as much as I can. Here we go. All right, so I finished tracking the guitar, and now I'm going to start mixing it. And here's what I have right now. Let's go. So it's got a lot of bass, and I'd like to maybe decrease that because I will have a bass guitar later. And I'm thinking I want to increase the reverb and the sustain a little bit, and increase the clarity of the high notes. So to do that, we're going to start with the advanced reverb tool. And we'll see what it sounds like now. That's way too echoey. So we're going to turn down the dry wet mix so that there will be less reverb. The nice thing is, it still retains the clarity, but has a little more volume. So I'm going to leave that for now and add another effect. We're going to throw in a stereo imager to give it a little more width, and we'll see what that sounds like. That's the extreme. That's too focused, so. There we go, that sounds a little better. And we're gonna throw in an equalizer to top it all off. 
So let's decrease the lows a little bit. And then increase the highs just a little bit. And then give it a little peak right about there ish. Let's see what this sounds like. So that's it for today. I'm going to finish mixing the guitar and vocals, and I will talk to you tomorrow.